Hello, it's David Brenton, team leader and owner of David Brenton's team, real estate company serving central Indiana. I get questions regularly and the question I'd like to address today is, what's the difference between a buyer's market, a seller's market, and a balanced market? I've heard for years these terms be used on the media, but they've never really explained them to me. So, to answer that question, a buyer's market and a seller's market and a balanced market are differentiated by the number of homes in inventory. And what that means is if there's 40 houses for sale today and homes are selling at the rate of 20 per month, there'd be a two month supply of homes because the 20 that are up for sale uh, that sell this month would leave 20 more available next month. So if you've got a 60 60 homes for sale and 10 homes sell per month, you'd have a six month supply of homes. So a balanced market is when there's about a four to six month supply of homes. Buyers and sellers um, demand is pretty well equal. And that's really a good time to buy and sell a home because you get a fair price for the one you're selling and you pay a fair price for the one you're buying. A buyer's market on the other hand is when there's more than a six month supply of homes. So there's more inventory than there are buyers. In a buyer's market, prices tend to go down and demand is low. So you may have six month or eight month or 10 month supply of homes. During the recessionary times we had between 2007 and 2012, in some of our market areas, we had as much as a 15 to 18 month supply of homes. So it was taken 12 to 15 months to sell a home. The market has improved now, now, and we've shifted into a seller's market. A seller's market is when inventory is low and demand is high. Prices tend to go up some, and it takes a lot less time to sell a home. So a seller's market is usually defined as when there's less than a four-month supply of homes. Right now, depending on the price range and the location, we're seeing inventory be as low as one month, and up to six or seven months depending on the price range. But the overall market is typically in a seller's market. So in a seller's market, you're gonna get a little more money for the home you're selling. You're gonna pay a little more money for the home you're buying, but it all works out. So if you have other questions about real estate in general, please feel free to reach out to me. It's David Brenton. David at the Brentonteam.com is my email. And my cell number is 317 213-1200. Thanks for watching.